And back with yet another one for October the 13th. And it makes sense because uh, that was a holiday weekend for Columbus Day. So the mail packed up for a day or so. This one, 1013, can't really figure out. It has two postmarks, Memphis, Tennessee, and Rochester. Is a card in there. It was taped shut, so curious to see about this one. I'm curious to see about all of them, really. And into the envelope we go. Dump out. Oh, another old baseball card. Don Kessinger. A 71 tops. Signed and personalized when he was with the Cubs. Uh, stand by for the details. And back. So I looked this up. Sent to Mr. Kessinger on August the 31st of this year with this card. I found a whole bunch of uh, old 1970s. Baseball cards laying around. Uh, this one, in a really good career. Not real flashy in terms of big numbers of home runs. But he was six-time All-Star. Won the Gold Glove twice at shortstop. A really handy shortstop. Uh, Cubs, 64-75. St. Louis Cardinals, 76-77. to Finished off with the White Sox from 77-79. to And then actually managed, for at least part of the season... The Chicago Cubs back in 79. Uh, but anyway, this guy is a real nice, you know, real nice uh, lineage with the Cubs in Chicago. So, any F Cubbies fans out there? Don Kessinger. Oh, and I sent this, weirdly, not to a place in Tennessee, but it was an address in Mississippi. So I'm wondering if he was maybe, you know, out traveling or... Whatnot, but I've seen that sometimes where the postmark is different than the address I sent it to. And I got some interesting ones I'll be talking about in future videos. But before I drone on, sign and personalize Don Kessinger, 1971 Tops. Real good card, real good player. And thank you for that, sir.